Welcome to the Image Profile Report. I'm your host, Herb Glenn. It is not to any mistake that God would make the greatest gift to mankind to be women. And it's so important that they're special in our lives. But in most instances, a number of them think that perfection is the relationship that they should have in life. No one is perfect. And there are many individuals who have to understand what is perfect about them, in particular in their lifestyles. The specifics in regard to how an individual can approach that is through counseling and a direction that's going to give them self-esteem, that's going to show them that they can motivate others to know how special they are in life. Someone who's with me today has been very um, supportive in that effort, and her name happens to be Teresa. Miss Teresa is where she goes by, Teresa Randolph, who she truly is, and we want to welcome her to our set. Thank you very much, Ms. Teresa. Hi, Glenn. Glenn. Thank you for having me. You know, it's a, a wonderful inspiration because in most cases, a number of individuals don't really know how I got started. And one of the things that really got me motivated into being involved in the media, into photography, and to understand exactly how important it is to capture images was working with Mrs. Teresa. Ms. Teresa was the first fashion show that I was able to have an opportunity to work with. And it was very difficult because of the fact that I had never known what the priorities were in regard to what would bring out the full essence of what it is that she was representing. But it was easy because she's such a professional at what she does. And I'm very happy about the fact that she has been supportive in the effort that I have been making to show what's important about urban community and the development of what we do in relationship to building our women into strong models. Today we also have individuals that have won contests from her Miss Full Figured Model uh, Extravaganza, I think we can really uh, use that. We have uh, Naja Jahad, who is the reigning Full Figured Queen. Thank you, Naja, for being here. Thank you for having me. And Miss Annette Satterwhite Cruz, who is Miss Exquisite. Now, Teresa, the things that are so important that I really want to bring across to our viewers is the history behind where this whole concept really evolved. Why don't you share with us exactly what really gave you the inspiration to start this program? Well, years ago I was in pageants, I always did pageants. A good friend of mine, Mr. Billy Jones, introduced me to the fashion world because he was on every major cover that ever existed to mankind. And uh, he introduced me to several people. So I went on to do a pageant, and um, I didn't receive my prizes. Mm. So I said, if I ever gave a pageant, I'm going to make sure we give the prizes out. Okay. Then I went on to do other pageants in New York City. Happened to win a couple of titles in my day. And I said, you know what? I still wasn't feeling that self-esteem was being built. They looked at it as, uh, we have full-figured women, beautiful women. But I didn't capture that. And I always said, I would like to also have seminars mm. within my own show mm. to talk about self-esteem building. Um, size has no barrier on beauty, that's my motto. And I stick to and hold to that motto. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. The reality behind what has evolved has been inspirational. And what I think is so important, because I think we've known each other for at least about 10 years or so, which is a decade in most cases yes. in most lives. But you have never changed. You have been the same pure quality of individual. And even with your celebrity status, you have been very approachable. Do you really personify that to many of the models? Well, you know, it's funny that you say that. And when you speak about approachable, I was always told people can just reach out and touch you. Mm -hmm. But it's what you say and whatever comes out of your mouth has to make sense. Mm -hmm. And I just always talk about self-esteem and building women's stamina and making sure everyone has a great time in life because life is about fun mm -hmm. and trying new things. And to conquer a goal as a beauty queen like these two women did, mm -hmm. I mean, it's the ultimate crown and I love it. To be accepted as a beauty queen, Naja, the idea of it is being a full-figured woman, were there any uh, withdrawals or rejections or even thinking that it would not be something that fit your kind of caliber of quality? Yes, as a child, there were many different distractions, different struggles. But once I became a woman, I found out who I was as a person and that I had a voice. That was the driving force between, behind me applying and auditioning for the Miss Full Figure pageant. And it's been life-changing. 
you know, thinking about the idea of how it really brought you now to evolve to say that you know that there is a purpose for your life and understanding it. Did the training involved with being part of the pageant help that? Oh, of course. There were many seminars, many workshops, and I was determined to write down different notes just to walk away with something, a pearl of wisdom that I could take with me, not just during my pageant journey, but through life. And so with that, as Ms. Teresa says, size has no barrier on beauty. I grasp hold to that, and it just seemed like the heavens just opened up for me. Mm. Well, you know, Annette, now size has no barrier on beauty, but you're not a very big woman. How did you get involved with this program? <laughs> well, when I did the pageant for the very first time in 2002, I was a size 20. Okay. The second pageant, I was a size 16. This current pageant, I am a 12. You're going to have to really elaborate on that. <laughs> okay, I'll elaborate by saying I drink a lot of water. Wow. Uh, there is quite a bit of stress during pageant season, so my appetite changed because I didn't have an appetite. I was busy buying my accessories and making sure the gown fit, and I had to buy two pairs of shoes because the first pair didn't match, and, you know, there's all kinds of stuff going on, so, you know. Wow. The idea of how you really set up the pageantry, there are yes. different categories. Yes. Explain how they actually work. All right. Mm -hmm. We have Miss Full Figure USA, who's not a judge I have. We have Miss Full Figure USA Plus, which is Miss Shelly King. Mm -hmm. Hi, Shelly. She in, lives in Maryland. Okay. And we also have Miss Exquisite Full Figure USA for age 40 and over. Okay. Okay. So you have to be between the sizes of 12 to 24. Mm -hmm. And for Miss Full Figure USA and Miss Full Figure USA Plus, you um, have to be age 18 to 39. Mm -hmm. And for Miss Exquisite, age 40 yeah. and over. So there's no stopping any age. That's I'm right. grabbing hold to all ages and sizes. And we've included teenagers this year. Okay. So we have Miss Teen. So 13 to infinity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, 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 and you know, it's amazing how you would really speak in terms of the fact that no size is a barrier, but mm -hmm. you're not identifying or, or pigeonholing a size. Mm -hmm. In most modeling competitions, an individual have to be a certain size in order mm -hmm. to be competitive. Looking at it from that perspective, now, when you talk about your diet change in your lifestyle, was that part of the training conditioning to be one of the contestants? Definitely, especially if you're going to do any part of the talent portion. Uh, I did perform a talent I danced, so in a beauty pageant, beauty, as we all say, starts from within. So of course you're going to have to exercise. You still need to drink your water, your fluids, moisturize that face. You have to still take care of yourself as if you're working out. It is a workout. Hmm. You've got to look good. Wow. You know, when you think about it from the perspective of being an urban program, you still pay a lot of attention to detail the quality, the caliber, the crowns, the sashes. What is so important about that? Well, I have to correct you. We're not only urban, we're <laughs> suburban. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> <And> you <laughs> all, <laughs> we go all over. <laughs> Women fly we're in. International. All the way. We're international. Wow. We really are. Contestants came from Louisiana, yes. Maryland, Hawaii, Hawaii North Carolina. LA, all over. They come all over to be a part of the Miss Bull Figure USA pageantry yes. system. We evolved. Over the last 26 years now, Herb Glenn. Wow. It's 26 years. But then let me go back to the detail thing, though. No. Okay. <laughs> 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 yes, you know what? We can look as great as any other pageantry system. Okay. But I do handpick the crowns. We do handpick the sashes, the wording, the script. I want it to look royal because they're royalty. Mm -hmm. You know, you get all your accolades while you're here on earth. These are beauty queens. Right? These are Miss Full Figure USA and Miss Exquisite Full Figure USA. But I'm very particular and I'm very picky. Mm -hmm. And to be a part of our pageantry system, you have to have wisdom. If not, we'll, we'll instill it and, you know, try to bring things out of women that they've never done before. Mm -hmm. You say, try something new. Yeah. Got to try something new. A lot of people are afraid to take those steps. Mm -hmm. I want you to leap, run, jump. No more baby steps. Mm -hmm. Is your program just specifically for competitors? Well, 
you'd be surprised. A lot of women come in for all different reasons, okay? You have some that's gained weight since high school. You have some that's had some children mm -hmm. and they put on those extra pounds. You also have some women who, um, you have a pretty face, but you're a little on the heavy side. You have some people who want to prove something to their husband, their job, their kids. Oh. I'm still full-figured and fabulous and I can walk in heels and I can put on the right undergarments. Mm -hmm because we have certain classes for just the proper yes. undergarments that you wear mm -hmm. on the street. There's no need for things to be moving that doesn't need to be moving. Just keep it nice and tight and right. I notice a lot of uh, the demeaning in which you carry yourself. There's a level of sophistication yes. that really personifies exactly what is ideal about being a model, but in particular a winner. Why do you think that that is so important it's important because it starts from within and your beauty your physical beauty is just a, an expression of what's on the inside so if you if you have a beautiful soul that's going to exude outside you know if you have a beautiful personality all of that is just going to show on your face mm -hmm. if you're kind you're going to have a kind soul you know you you kind of give a lot of inspiration in, as well in that being uh, a middle-aged woman who um, in many instances have so many other priorities and then can be able to provide an image that is going to be respectable and something that can show an opportunity for others to grow from is so important. Tell me exactly why do you feel that what you're doing is going to make a difference? Oh my goodness. Well, I have to say it stemmed from when I was a child. Um, I have to say I've always been a leader and people have always either admired or followed or respected what I said or did. So it's important to me that that's received. You know, I, I appreciate that that's how I am seen. Um, that's the light that I'm seen in. And it means a lot to me because that's also a part of pageantry and it's a part of beauty. It's very inspirational to know that I do inspire other women my age and younger. I get it a lot on the street. I love it. It, it means a lot to me. It's humbling, seriously. But it's something that I've, I've always been this way, and now I have a crown, so... How beautiful is that? I think Ms. Teresa really knows what she did. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And now, thinking about the process, there is a registration. Yes. And uh, there's a time period in which you do train individuals. Yes. Why don't you share with us exactly how that works? Well, right now it's pageantry, uh, pageantry season. season. Yes. That's what we call it, pageantry season. Okay. We're looking for women now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. between the ages of 18, 60, 70 years old that are full figure. And also we're looking for the teens. And um, we're setting up workshops now. So it's not too late for anybody to be involved. Come on down and be involved. Log on to our website. In fact, mm -hmm. while everybody's home watching, go on www.msfullfigureusa, Miss Full Figure USA, and take a look at what we have to offer. But you can also contact us at Miss Full Figure mm -hmm. USA at gmail.com. Now, the thing again is that it's an international program. And by being so involved in reaching out to people across the country and abroad, once they win, they are traveling to those areas as well? Well, it's according to what type of schedule we have. Mm -hmm. However, we do a lot of radio interviews. And okay. these women have busy lives. Right. Okay, so it has, to fit in, it has to fit into their life. In fact, okay. we're going to Jamaica next year. Okay. prize I was supposed to give away a while ago, however, sponsor came through. So we're going to be off to Jamaica because I'm a woman of my word. Mm -hmm. And um, they've traveled quite a few places and New York City has embraced them, Atlantic City, all over. Everybody's just embracing right. our pageantry system, really. You say you're a woman of your word and mm -hmm. thinking about exactly what you have been able to create in this whole program. 25 years yes. is a long-standing um, reality to you. Um, your vision in the future, what are you looking forward to? Um, I want to leave behind the legacy of fashion, stardom, mm. beauty, and grace. And I also would like to keep it going. I wanted to give up, okay. you know, at one time. And um, my friend said, there's no way. This has to continue. Right. So with family, 
of course, JT Productions. That's our company, Jackie mm -hmm. and myself, Jackie Epps, mm -hmm. and Teresa Randolph. Your friend. Yeah. Your friend. Yeah, right. My friend. Your friend. And um, <laughs> keeping the push going, right. and we just keep redeveloping everything. We've had a great time. The things that are so important about what it is that we're developing is the idea that people need to be more involved with developing ways in which people can feel confident that they can be successful in life. And knowing that that success will emulate a positive relationship of lives for others. Well, women that are involved in the pageantry system mm -hmm. or any type of group, you start to develop relationships with the people who like to do what you like to do. Mm -hmm. So some women find themselves in a situation in which they really don't want to be bothered. But these women come out and they bond and get new friendships and some are friends to this day. So sometimes you have to make yourself, you have to be around people who you really want to be around and to try new things and these women here have also become good friends and they call each other and they share beauty tips and fashion tips and I love it all. Being women. Yeah. And that's uh, really important because there are many opportunities where young ladies learn mm -hmm. yes. the right motives and the right methods of being able to prepare themselves for adulthood. This has been a great opportunity. What uh, do you think is going to be inspiring for you in relationship to how people are going to take your uh, image and use it uh, in the future? One of my most favorite quotes is, she believed she could, so she did. So I want people to look at me and say, wow, I remember Naja before the pageant. And to see her now, I get so many inboxes, so many people walk up to me and say, wow, how did you do it? And I'm able to share my story. And I just say, I aspire to inspire. Mm -hmm. So that's just a piece of me that I would like to leave with the world. So I'm blessed beyond measure to have been auditioned and not only win Miss Full Figure USA, but also Miss Congeniality. So there's many points that I can take away with. It's just mm -hmm. so many lifelong lessons that I've learned, so many friendships gained. So. I'm beyond blessed. Hmm. You know, Annette, uh, you have grandchildren, and yes, why don't you... I just had a new one. Is that right? November 3rd, Maximus, yes. What do you <laughs> think that uh, that grandchild is going to really think of you? What the rest of them think? Oh, look at Jema. There goes Jema. <laughs> and let me tell you something. My daughter and my mother can say, uh, don't let me call Jema. No, don't call Jema. Please don't call Jema. <laughs> So, you know, okay. whatever legacy I'm going to leave with my grandchildren, I'm going to leave it with whomever I come in contact with. The relationship that you're having now um, can broaden your experiences and develop a ways in which you can use it so that it can help uh, build the right kinds of relationships for other people. Mm -hmm. um, do you think that this is going to help approach that area um, in regard to using it as a method of inspiring others in relationship to fashion and beauty? Oh, definitely. Fashion and beauty would go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. they're, co they're together, mm -hmm. like peanut butter and jelly. So, <laughs> yes, I do think that uh, fashion and beauty are going to go to higher, higher lengths, and I think the full-figured community and the full-figured pageant they're going to excel right along with that fashion and beauty. Okay. Well, you know, the things that are really important is that we are having this opportunity to showcase uh, this program uh, because we care partners, Herb Glenn, and um, the whole team that we're working with we're just going to be very helpful in supporting the efforts with Teresa Randolph. Teresa Randolph, I started out with her, so I'm just happy to be back a part of the team. And we're blessed to know that, um, you know, you do need us. <laughs> yes, and I thank you for all of those uh, articles. Mm -hmm. You put the pageant in over the years That's and wonderful. all the photos. We appreciate you, JT Productions and Miss Full Big USA Pageantry System. We honor you. Thank you. We'll give you the pageant queen, Lee. Oh, thank my. <laughs> Listen, I'd like to also thank my team for working with us in preparing this set. And uh, we also want to give a shout out to Jackie Epps again, you know, okay. for making sure thank that Jackie. everyone was here and on time. And we'll be looking forward to having more opportunities where we can work together with you. We thank you very much for being here. Thank, thank, thank you for you. having us. All right. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in.